Hey guys, Chaz back with another video. In this video, we're gonna obviously compare a few more um, grabs which were touchdowns or weren't touchdowns. So we're gonna go over a couple more plays, more controversial plays, plays that you guys commented on the last video about. And if you guys weren't keeping up with me with the Jesse James one, I mean, the Jesse James play, in my opinion, me personally, I don't believe the Jesse James looks like a touchdown, ever looked like a touchdown. I don't understand why you guys even think it was a touchdown. You guys who did, I mean, I don't know what you're smoking. You need some new eye, your eyes change, or you need a few more brain molecules, okay? So Jesse James, not a touchdown. My eyes doesn't say that's a, now. I'm gonna show you two two um catches that I personally believe are touchdowns. That the rules say they aren't touchdowns, though. If you go by the letter of the law, they aren't touchdowns in my opinion. But me personally, when I see that that play. It should be a touchdown. But if you go by the rules, what the rules say, it shouldn't be a touchdown. Now, this video, I'm going to try to slow down a little bit. Sometimes I talk a little fast. You guys aren't keeping up with me. Because, like, people were even arguing me, like, the, well, if you get your knee down, that's like getting two feet down. And it's, like, it doesn't matter. You're going to the ground. You must complete the process of the catch. That means you have to survive the ground once you go to the ground. Now, if you become a runner and then get taken to the ground, you do not have to survive the ground. But first, you must become a runner. And now we're going to go over the... This is NFL.com, all right? You have to do one, two, and three in order to survive, basically, once you're going to the ground. So the first one is just basically securing the ball, getting the ball in your grass. Um, and then the, the, you got to touch your feet. Both feet have to be, um, you know on the ground and bounce whatever yada yada number three is where we want to go to number three is what we're going to highlight right here right so maintains control is a obviously um you got to maintain control through a and b <clears throat> it says until he has the ball long enough to become clearly a a um a player has the ball long enough to become a runner after his second foot hits the ground he is capable of avoiding or warding off defenders contact of an opponent Basically, you just need two feet in bounds and be able to maneuver and move out of the way of an opponent. Once you get two feet, to me, they bear, they basically go with the third foot. And just, um, Jesse James basically was going to the ground the whole way, so he had to complete the catch anyway. Ertz took three steps and dove. That is a football move when you dive. He took three steps, an extra step, a third step, and then dove. Tucking it away and then turning up the field or whatever. When you tuck the ball away, turn up field or whatever, that's already a football move. Once you Jesse James caught the ball, kept going in strike and dove, and then the ball hit out of, in the end zone. Okay, it's a it's a, it's a touchdown. That's pretty simple. But I'm gonna show you other ones that they, the guys actually took steps and people were questioning me. And that is the Des Bryant one, and I'm gonna show you why the Des Bryant one wasn't a touchdown. And number. The other one is one, a personal one that I thought was a touchdown when I saw it. But if you go by the letter of the law, it isn't a touchdown. And that is the Calvin Johnson catch against the Bears where he was going down when he put his hand down with the ball and the ball slipped out of his hand. They called no touchdown. That was the game. It would have been a game winning touchdown. So what I'll do here is I'll show you guys the other two and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys why I believe. Well, me personally, I think they're touchdowns, but I'm going to show you why because of the NFL rules, they were not touchdowns. And then I'm going to show you the irks and the difference in between. For you can see, because two things can happen the same way. Like in some of the cases, they'll take three or four, three steps. But there's a difference in the steps that they're taking. And that's why they're not being called touchdowns. And I'm going to show you the reason why right now. All right, guys. Now we're in the infamous Des Bryant catch. This is the one that everybody spammed. This is the most spam one. The why Des Bryant isn't a touchdown. So we're going to watch the Des Bryant one, different angles. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about why I believe this was not called touchdown. Now, me personally, I believe it should be a touchdown. Just by my me as a football fan and what I think is a catch and what shouldn't be a catch, I believe this should be a catch. But by the letter of the law, I do not believe it's in a catch. And I'm going to tell you why. As he's going up, you, and the differences between these two catches is that the, 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 the wide receiver is actually jumping up to catch these balls. Both him and the Calvin Johnson play, they're both jumping up. You see he's jumping up. Right there, the ball stutters, right? So then he takes one, two, and then like a little half step. Really, he doesn't gain control to like really, really only took two steps. And then he kind of like jars the ball over and tries to get it into the end zone. That's his football move. That's the move that people are calling a football move. 
just moving your shoulder. That's a football move. Obviously, that's what people think. That's a football move. That's the same thing as somebody diving this. Just rolling over your shoulder is a football move. Des Bryant, here's the thing. If you guys look at this, Des Bryant is jumping up. He is off balance. He cannot avoid defenders. He can't do nothing because he is stumbling. He is taking steps, but he is stumbling. There's a difference between someone stumbling, like trying to catch their balance, and somebody running in stride because they're a runner and they can avoid, they can dive. Des Bryant didn't dive. Des Bryant fell to the ground, guys. And that's the big difference here. If this thing ever speeds up, can we move on to a better angle already? All right, there's a lot of celebrating. They thought, and this is this is a good good angle, I think, right here. So he's gonna catch the ball. He's gonna bobble it. I do. He might get that third foot down, but again. He is staggering to the ground. He's headed to the ground. Again, the difference is this guy's coming from the ground. Ertz caught the ball low in stride and took one, two, three, and dove. See, Des Bryant Cat takes one, two, but again, he is falling to the ground. He, my God, what did I do? He is falling to the ground, right, guys? He is stumbling the whole way. These aren't, you, you, you guys got to see the difference between this and the Ertz one, all right? He is stumbling to the ground, and that is the big difference, and this is what people call a football move. That he kind of like jerks his, like leans the ball forward. That's not a, what, what people mean by a football move is that with your feet that you make a football move, not with your arms. That's not a football move, all right, guys? And that's what the biggest misconception of a lot of people see the football move that you think is like the turn up field, like the turn. See, like you got to be able to avoid, like, like the rule said, you have to show that you can avoid a hit or something like that. That's when you become a runner. That's Brian never showed any, he was stumbling the whole time. And that is the biggest difference why his wasn't a touchdown. Me personally, the eye test, for me, it passes. The problem is the rules say it isn't because he was not able to avoid anything because the whole way his momentum carried him to the ground. He was stumbling forward to the ground. And that, I know a lot of people are upset. You guys got to take your allegiance, your football allegiance. Because a lot of people are like, nobody can understand what a catch is anymore and this, that. It's pretty simple if you, if you take yourself out of it. I do a good job of taking myself out of it. I tell you guys, like... I think my guy, Sean McVay, should take that Coach of the Year trophy, and I love him. He did great things for the Rams. He should take that Coach of the Year trophy, put it in a box, and ship it to Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson did a great job in the regular season, and he did a masterful job in the postseason. And I know it's a regular season award, but even he had a better regular season as well. But, I mean, obviously we had less wins and stuff like that, but Coach of the Year, Doug Peterson, and I'm a Rams fan, and that's coming from me. But that's what I'm just telling you. I could take myself out of things. Like, I could take myself, just because I'm a team, I'm not a homer type player. A lot of the people with um, with the desk play is because they're Cowboys fans and they're homers. And, you know, their team has sucked for so long. They haven't won a Super Bowl in God knows how long. They barely won any playoff games, but they always think they're the best, but whatever. You got to take yourself out of the Cowboys. Some, I take myself out. Like, my team's been shitty for the last 10 years. I can, uh, I can definitely take myself out of it. But that's what it was, guys. The problem with the Des Bryant catch is that... He is stumbling to the ground. He is unable to make a football move. He's jumping from the ground, and he's just staggering to the ground. The whole way, he was headed to the ground. He must complete the process of a catch. The ball cannot fumble out of his hand after hitting the ground. Because the whole time, you saw his momentum right here. You can just see it clear as day. His momentum was taking him to the ground the whole way. He can't make a football move. He can't do anything. So he must finish the catch off because his whole momentum is taking him to the ground. The Zach Ertz, he was running and then dove to the ground. Dez is just going to the ground the whole way. I mean, this is clear as day, guys. So we're going to move on to the next play. You guys let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. But it's, to me, it's very simple and cut and dry. Personally, like I said, I believe this is a touchdown. But by the letter of the law, this is not a touchdown. All right, guys, now we're to this other one. This is the Calvin Johnson. I'm going to let it roll before I comment too much. Look at this. 30 seconds to go in the game, second and 10. And basically, they wound up losing this game because after this catch, they didn't get it. Next two, they, they stopped them on the next two um, passes. But here it is. They throw it up. And again, this guy's coming off the ground. Calvin Johnson, you know, jumping over somebody like he always does. And this is what happens. One, two, and then he falls to the ground, touches his butt. He tries to get up to celebrate, and the ball slips out of his hand as he tries to plant his hand down. Now, here's the thing. To me, the guy had control, was a touchdown, amazing play. But the letter of the law, it is not. He took one, two, and was falling backwards, and he sat down on the floor. Here's the thing. His body was still sliding backwards. All right, guys? His body was still sliding backwards, and... 
It was a touchdown. He was just trying to get up to celebrate. He got up a little bit too prematurely. He was trying to celebrate too fast. All he had to do was take the ball, keep sliding backwards. Once he came to a complete stop, it was done. The problem is that his body was still sliding. He took one, two, one. He takes a second step. Now, me personally, I think the guy made a great play and it should be a touchdown. But if you go by the letter of the law, and you have to because you just got to go by the letter of the law because it kind of takes away the gray area. You Once this happens, he's going to the ground. He has to complete it all the way through. And he is still sliding backwards. As you guys can see, his butt hits. He tries to put his hand down just so he can get up and start celebrating. And what happens is he's still sliding. He puts his hands down and the ball hits the ground and it comes out. And he's still in the process of his momentum is still carrying. He has to finish the process of the catch. I know it's shitty and the guy really had control and it should be really a touchdown. But the rules are the rules. You must survive the ground. And he is still sliding. Me personally, like I said, believe the guy, that was a catch. But if you go by the letter of the law, it wasn't because he wasn't able to make a move. He's stumbling backwards. He landed. He has to continue until if he would have held it, just came, had the ball like this, held it and slid backwards and continued to slide and just stopped, came to the stop and got up and threw the ball, whatever. It would have been a touch. It would have. Um, it would have been a touchdown. So that's pretty much it. We're going to go to the Ertz now, and I'm just going to show you again. Basically, the difference is that Ertz was upright, caught the ball, took three steps, dove. That's a football move. He was able to make a football move. All right, guys. Now we're back at the Super Bowl play with Zach Ertz. And again, guys, he takes three steps, makes a football move, which is diving to the end zone. That constitutes himself as a runner. So now the basically... Basically, once you become a runner, it's like you, you got a handoff and you took it from the 20-yard line and you just broke an 80-yard touchdown. The same rule applies. As soon as you break the plane of the, uh, the goal line, it's a touchdown. As soon as somebody hit, as soon as you would have hit the ground with nobody touching you, it's a fumble because you already became a runner. So basically, once you, you, you've established yourself as a runner, it's like you took a handoff. And basically, that's what we're saying. So all that stuff about, oh, a knee down, that constitutes like, that's the, yeah, if you're going to the sideline and you're, if you want your feet down, that's like if you if you don't get two feet down, but you get a knee down or something like that, counts, that's like a, getting a foot down. But if you want to become a runner, you actually have to run and run with a purpose and be able to cut and move and do something about it, okay? So again, what are the rules? He takes, look, he caught the bar, he won, two, he takes the third steps and he sees the guy coming right there and he hops over him. Boop. After taking the third step, he gets the fourth foot down. That's actually the fourth one because then he places the other one and he uses that one to lunch. He actually got four steps down if you really look at it, guys. All right, let's, let, let's rewind that a little bit. So, all right, the ball's coming to him. One, two, three. And then, like, the a fourth one is kind of sliding. He lunges over to get, all right, three, three-ish. Three, three plus, let's say. But, again, he made the football move to dive. That he's a, once, And that's the key word they used when they came out, that he established himself as a runner. And that's what you must do. That's what Des Bryant never did. Des Bryant jumped in the air, came down. And as he came down, one, two, he was stumbling, and he took another step. He came down, one, two, stumbling steps, and he took another one. And, again, his football move is... This is a football move, obviously, because, yeah, that's the same thing as juking. That's the same thing as spinning. Just lifting up your arm is a football move. I mean, I understand what they're saying. It's not like he, he didn't die. That's what people don't understand. He didn't die. He was falling to the ground, and he put his arm up to try to get it again. So his momentum is taking him to the ground. He must complete the catch. He must survive the ground when that happens. Once you already became a runner, once you've established yourself as a runner, you don't, and you fall to the ground, you do not have to survive the ground because you are a runner. So it's basically like if you're coming again, like you're breaking an 80 yard touchdown run, you've established yourself as a runner. Once you dive for the end zone, once you cross the plane, it is a touchdown. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, you found this informative for you guys who didn't. Hopefully, I know it's not going to turn everybody because you can't convince everybody. People could see what they, they're hot. It kills them. They're going to bleed that, that Cowboys blue or they're just going to hate the NFL. Some people just like to hate. I hope this rule kind of broke it down a little bit. You have to establish yourself as a runner. You got to be able to make a couple of moves. You get what I'm saying? Des Bryant stumbling to the ground. He's on his way to the ground. His momentum is carrying him to the ground. Must survive it. The same thing with Calvin Johnson. His momentum carried it. Now, I personally believe the eye test, those should be touchdowns. But if you go by the rules, 
They're no good. They're no good. And I'm sorry. I know some people are still not going to agree with me, but I don't know why. The facts are the facts. We read the rules. Hopefully, I was able to show the difference between the three different plays. And hopefully, you guys got a better understanding of the actual rules. Just a little bit. Hopefully, I was able to change a few of you guys' minds. That's all I want. Um, I hope you guys can see the difference between the three. Somebody established himself as a runner in the Zach Ertz play, while the other two guys didn't establish themselves as a runner. So they're going to the ground. They must complete the catch and survive the ground, obviously. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you're new around here, we've got a lot more sports videos to come. Please make sure to subscribe. Till next time, guys.